What's up guys, JR Raymond back again at Classic Lanes here in Rochester Hills, Michigan. This is my new home, if you haven't found out already, this is where I will be doing all of my lessons, all of my videos, for the most part all of my videos, with the exception of when I'm on the road. So pay attention here, this is the home of MRB Classic Pro Shop, uh, where Mason Brantley runs the shop. So we're going to try to drum up some business for him as well. If you're ever in the area, make sure to stop out here and see Mason. Heck of a pro shop guy, he'll take good care of you. So today, we are actually going to start talking about how to increase your ball speed. A lot of people have sent me messages saying they don't know how to get their ball speed to go up, so we're going to talk about that here in a minute. All right, so ball speed is one of those tricky subjects that most people, uh, they get tips from a neighbor or a fellow bowler, uh, and they're not quite sure. And the majority of the time, people are too fast. And so then they get told, hey, you need to slow your feet down uh, so that way you can get your ball speed to come down. So what do they do? They get set up, they take their first couple of steps super slow, and then they sprint to the line and they get going really fast. So it basically does nothing except really make you faster at that point. So the only way to actually slow your ball speed down is to slow all of your steps down, not just your first couple. When we're talking about tempo, we're talking about the steps and the pace that you're going at with your feet at the line. Your tempo should be a smooth, like a cadence almost, where it's like one, two, three, four, five. And then if you're trying to get a little bit faster, you're trying to get your ball speed up, it goes one, two, three, four, five. By moving your feet faster, by getting everything going quicker, the ball actually follows your feet and moves just as quick. Now we have all that momentum going as well. Uh, some of the tricks that guys like, I mean, you probably saw a video from Flow Bowling where Chris Barnes talked about, you know, moving his feet where he is on the approach and it doesn't affect his timing or his tempo too much. Well, yeah, that's true, uh, and it's definitely a good trick if you need to go faster and move your feet back a little bit, because that tells your mind, like, hey, I'm too far back, I gotta move quicker and take bigger steps to get there. And if you need to slow down, you move your feet closer to the foul line, so that way you can tell your mind, hey, I need to take smaller, shorter steps so I don't go over the foul line. Those tricks do work, but at the same time, you still wanna think about your feet and make sure that they're at the same pace the entire way. So if you're trying to go slow, one, two, three, four, five, and then you're trying to go fast, one, two, three, four, five, you need to make sure you take that into consideration no matter where you're at on the foul line. Those are the ways to do it. So if I'm gonna throw one nice and slow, we're gonna take our time. I'm gonna move my feet up a little bit on the approach. I'm gonna get my tempo to be like one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ugh. Bad balance, but that's okay. Oh, struck anyway, and that's all right. So that's nice and slow ball speed. So a little awkward there, because I'm not used to throwing it that slow, but that's okay. It was still able to get it to go that slow. Um, so now we're gonna try and throw one a little bit faster. So in order to throw it faster, I have to speed my feet up. So now we're gonna try to get our speed to be like one, two, three, four, five. So now I'll move my feet back just a little bit. Same type of thing. One, two, three, four, five. Good, much better. Both struck. So you can see the difference in the ball speed. One was quite a bit slower than the other. Unfortunately, I don't have Specto here, so I can't show you the data, but that's okay. Visually, you can definitely see that one was faster than the other. Now, if I really want to amp it up, I just need to get going super fast. We're gonna throw the ball even faster. We're not gonna change our swing. We're not gonna change anything else. We just move our feet quicker. Woo, and I missed right. And now that's how you speed the ball up. So that one gets going really fast. So the next time you're practicing, don't sit there trying to just slow down a couple of steps. Make sure you slow down all your steps if you want to slow down. Or if you need to speed up, then you need to speed up all your steps, okay? Nothing else changes. Hope this helps. Uh, make sure to subscribe to this channel and go over to Life's Traction Control as well. There's a link here somewhere where you can click on that and go subscribe over there. We're gonna be doing some new videos, some new types of things on that channel as well. So pay attention to that. And if you're in the Rochester Hills area, make sure you stop up here at Classic Lanes. Stop over at MRB Classic classic pro shop and see Mason and get you some uh, whatever you need. So until next time, guys, we'll see you later.